Hey, it's Mark. Here is a video about productivity using the Genie text editor. Genie is spelled G-A-N-Y, and it is free for, am I just going to type while I video today? Windows, Linux, and Mac. All right. Um, I don't think I'll type the whole time as I'm talking because that would slow me back down. But uh, it's, a, it's a nice little text editor. I find it really simple to use. Um, it's really great for productivity purposes. Um, I have a journaling template here, as you can see that I'm typing in, that is generated for me every morning. And I have a really quick block right here of stats that it'll ask me about. Um, so like how much cardio I've done yet, uh, hydration levels. It's kind of a quick check-in on stats every day, last known weight. Um, I don't do this every day. I do this maybe once a week if I'm lucky. Um, if I'm really suffering, I'll push myself to do it at least every other day um, because it, it can really help get you like right back on the rails, like really fast back on the rails uh, in terms of your productivity or your exercise or whatever. So it's got not just like diet and exercise stuff, but it's also got uh, how long has it been since you've reviewed your personal calendar, which entries on my calendar are for the next few days or week or are added to the bottom of this file uh, every day when it's generated. Uh, for the next day and then uh, weekly like items I want to cover this week I have another file that I can review really easily for that and the same with uh, active projects at work so that's uh, done for me as kind of a, a stat block I can uh, stat out there if I want to uh, invites me to score my day so far so it's kind of a little markdown formatted template that I can use to uh, really kick off my day in a in a positive way uh, because it allows me to get out things that have been on my mind or just on my mood you know like if it's uh, things that are annoying or whatever uh, once I can move past those then it allows me to focus my energy better on what I need to do at work or whatever also this is an important question I've I've used this with uh, different groups uh, with that I've trained I've used this with coaching clients I've used this with people that are um, like my wife has used this at school with her school kids they'll do a daily journal and um, she would say like how do you you know how do you increase your day from the current score that you chose right here uh, how do you increase it like one number up how would you add one number to that so just some general questions you can check those out um, they're pretty straightforward and I don't fill those out every day or even every week um, I use them when I feel like I need to go through them and, and get things straightened out like I said uh, but usually most of my work is done in the to-do list, uh, for example, uh, or in this other area. So this file is uh, bound to a key, a shortcut key on my system, uh, Control Super Y, which is uh, a shortcut kind of mnemonic for today. Um, so I just tap that. No matter what I'm doing, it'll pop up Genie with this file open on my cursor wherever I last left it. So I can just kind of keep typing. So my journal is kind of my daily log slash whatever I'm working on. And uh, that really helps me to kind of have this sort of um, uh, point of identity on my whatever computer system I'm working on where I can just kind of, it's kind of like a, a base, like, you know, like a superhero has a base or a laboratory that they work from. That's what this file becomes on a daily basis. So um, I really enjoy Genie uh, because it's uh, simple, it's extensible. There are good plugins for it. It gets out of the way. As you can see, I've turned off all the buttons here if you've seen it before. I've turned off tabs. I've turned off... Um, the little uh, area you can pull up here with compiler messages. There's a sidebar you can pull over and see all your files. But I turn all that off just to have it really simple uh, here and um, straightforward. Um, I've generated a bunch of, or created a bunch of color schemes here. This one's just kind of like these colors on a nice blue background. So um, that, I have a bunch of those, probably, I don't know, 15 or 20 of those color schemes now that are my personal schemes that I switch between um, quite often just to kind of change things up. Uh, but I did want to walk through one of my favorite features. Snippets are huge here. Um, they are a feature of Genie where you can basically start typing something out and um, it will uh, tap, like you can hit tab after typing some letters and it will um, do something for you. So right here I could type in uh, one I've created called GTI and then I'm going to press the tab key. So I uh, press type GTI, press tab, and it starts a new heading and puts the current time uh, in there for me. So that's kind of cool. It's a really nice um, way to start journaling from wherever I'm at. And I can have a kind of this local area inside of this other section to uh, journal from. So uh, really helpful. I use this all the time every day as a kind of a check-in area. And then I use one of my um, other ones under here uh, is LS for list. 
and I can just start listing like um, things I need to do or things that are on my mind or whatever. Um, just start typing. So um, that's a really easy one that's that I use all the time uh, for uh, journaling, for updating, for making lists. And there's a really cool book called uh, The New Diary um, uh, that came out. I want to say the author's last name is Rainer, but um, she basically talks about how these days like a diary is is um, something that can be uh, some scrawlings like a list on a plumber's paper in his back pocket or something like that it's not really you know a, it's what you need it to be and so i've tried to make genie um, handle this journaling and do everything i could possibly need it to do uh, to support like all kinds of tasks and uh, i'm going to show some more of those uh, while we're on the date uh, topic i do have gtd which um, is a snippet that puts in today's date and i always use this date format for everything this is like the iso date format um I can't remember which one, but it's uh, I use this for everything just to be consistent and it really helps me to find stuff. Um, it's really, really helpful in other logs I keep that are not my journal. So if I have a, like a log about my Linux uh, notes or things or a specific computer or system at my house or something like that, I will um, use this uh, heading system to update things I've changed recently there. So it's really quick to do that rather than typing in the date um, or looking at it on the clock and then typing it in. Um, another one that I've put in here that's a little bit fancy is I can type SK for schedule and it pops in a new uh, list here that says just scheduling and it puts in the current time. So 4.22 p.m. and then it adds basically 15 minute increments. I added a little bit of kind of fuzzy logic here to make it so that it wouldn't put like 4.30 right after 4.22 because I don't need that much like specificity so it just skips up to 4.45. Um, I wrote this uh, this little app here in uh, Pascal, in Object Pascal, and uh, compiled it with Free Pascal. And it sits in my um, kind of my binaries folder. And Genie calls it as part of the snippet and puts its output here, which is all formatted in a markdown by the Pascal uh, program itself. So um, this goes up for several hours, and I can really easily kind of schedule or block time. Genie does have like the standard kind of multi. Uh, cursor stuff so I can say you know something like that so really quickly it'd be easy to block stuff out um, whatever that needs to be um, and then uh, you know kind of block things out really fast like really you can really fill out a schedule fast in that way and so you can um, start to Feel like you've got something that you're uh, you're responsible for next rather than just kind of sitting around which uh, depending on who you are maybe it bugs you more or less like maybe you need a day off and you don't want to do that at all but some of us on our days off um, it does help us to kind of have at least part of the day where it's scheduled and you can feel like you're being productive with things you wouldn't normally have time for at work or whatever so um, another one I wanted to show here um, I do have some simple ones in here like um, HR which creates a horizontal line in the file um, that can kind of nicely separate things uh, so you can have a new section about something else uh, another one though uh, that's kind of um, been a really good journaling prompt here is I type in emo and press tab and it switches into this emotions and energies uh, kind of list and I can basically go and give a quick overview of how I'm feeling about all my kids, you know, and the, the philosophy here, I know it's kind of funny. It's like, oh yeah, this kid right today is like, you know, bugging me or whatever. Um, the philosophy though, is that you get it out here so that you don't take it out on somebody else, right? So that it's not like you see your kid and you're like, <laughs> so I'd rather reflect on it here in the journal uh, quietly and why that is or whatever than to, um, you know, be, uh, confrontational or something like that or unexpectedly emotional because I just kind of repressed that emotion in my journal or something so these are the kind of scores I give uh, the various uh, entries here uh, so my relationship with my wife you know going just fine work is is going really well today overall uh, trading investing and eh, I'll give that a pipe today um, I don't even remember if I made that pipe just to be a separator as like a nothing or if that's even I don't remember I usually use uh, plus or minus to try and like intentionally make it kind of swingy in emotions because I want to make sure that I, I know what I feel about the thing rather than just kind of like eh, so 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 I might expand on this like good or like pro con you know and then talk about whatever it might be 
uh, home and environment. Uh, this stuff is like, hey, uh, do I need to get back on the rails with changes around the home or or what? And I might say, oh, you know, I need to paint this room or something. Uh, body uh, would be like um, how I'm doing physically um, in terms of like how I feel. Um, I can't remember why I made physical state and body separate. Um, those could be needing a merge, but <laughs> it's been a while. Sometimes I'm like, I get done with uh, body and I start something else uh, and add it and forget about it later. So that's kind of a new addition there. Um, other energies that seem available was here before. And this one's really helpful because I can say um, today I have some weird video creation energy. Nice. Okay, so I'll give that a plus plus. And that will help me think if I do want to create some other videos or have been wanting to create some other videos for a while. Um, that's kind of a prompt to start using that energy for more than just this random one-off video. So that's that snippet. Uh, the LS1 you've seen creates a list. Uh, lists for me are really helpful for all kinds of things. Um, I do have one here that pulls in my interests. And so I'm going to um, show that. Okay, so this one pulled in um, some random interests from my interest file. And uh, so what this does is, you'll notice I use the word energy a lot. Like um, I had severe depression, anxiety for years, like chronic severe anxiety and depression and um, started to work on it. Like how, how can I work on this? And I learned a lot about being responsible to my energy and where it was at and how to raise it and when it was low how to sustain it, how to get proper rest, and eventually overcame uh, the depression and the anxiety, learned a lot about myself, and um, this was a big part of it. Like, basically what I did was I, I every interest I could figure out, um, I would put it in this file of, of my interests, and what I learned about interests was that interests are like a form of free energy. Um, if you're interested in, interested in something, chances are it means you have a gift in that thing in some way or another. So it's like free energy because if you use your gifts, you're by definition, you're using the thing that you can do longer uh, while expending less energy than things that are not interesting or that you're less um, you know, capable at, so to speak. So it could be that um, I find one of these things that like instantly sounds cool. Like, oh, it's been a while since I've checked off or you know, like checked out uh, fizz.org. Um, it's, you know, wow, interesting. Those sounds yum. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Japanese snacks, you know, I might plan to go to the store and pick up some, who knows what kind, like we have a Japanese restaurant around here that has like a front end area where they sell a bunch of snacks they've imported. So might go try something new. Uh, transferring hand-drawn letter forms to digital art. Uh, it's been a while since I've done that, but basically like I might draw a new font in my journal uh, or a few letters or a logo or something like that and then transfer it to some vector drawing software. Um, and then flying sim aircraft in interesting locations. So I might tr uh, fly from like my home airport here in a flight simulator uh, over to the coast um, or pick another location around the world, fly to from one Japanese island to another, for example. Uh, modern military matters and studies. That's a little bit of a fun one to say. Um, so I might look at uh, recent PDFs on military websites uh, that have been published from like, you know, West Point students or who knows who might have publish something interesting. Um, so those are just some examples of random. These are all shuffled before they're uh, added here. And this bracket P means like, um, I think it originally came from promising, the word promising, but basically it was my way in that file of, of saying, hey, this one is traditionally, you can rely on this one to give you some good energy. And uh, so when it pulls these from the file, it pulls them based on which ones have the bracket P in front of them. And the LT is like a long-term interest, one that's been uh, an interest for a long time, which all of these have in some way. But um, this one, of course, is like, I, I feel like I was born with uh, interest in this kind of stuff. So uh, raised by a dad who was an officer in the army, I think that's just kind of how it went. Um, so that that's another one that I'd like to pull into my journal uh, just to get thinking. And again, randomness, I use all the time to help out to kind of shuffle things around because uh, otherwise it's like you're driving in a car with all the windows rolled up and like, you know, not getting any fresh air from outside, the vents closed, <laughs> pretty soon you can start to run low on energy and you want to keep that up or you want to be resting or, you know, using the energy um, to kind of know where you're at with your energy in order to be uh, able to consistently um, find your life, 
you know, stabilizing if you need to, improving if you need it to, like in order to support your normal activities that every human wants to be able to do, you gotta learn how to manage your energy. So that's a really big deal. Here are some of my kind of other note files uh, that I keep. And you can see a lot of these say either framework or notes or like next steps, things like that. So um, this, these are shuffled randomly and these are notes that I've taken either years ago or updated recently. It doesn't matter, just pick some random ones for me to think about whether I need to update these or uh, just to think about them again uh, to keep them on the top of my mind. So I've got like a learning framework, inspiration for designing things, um, some notes on flashlights I have around the house, like uh, either how they work or little quirks I've discovered about them or like, you know, different modes of operation that they come with. Um, next steps for finance, uh, cell phone use framework. So, um, you know, how I'm using my cell phone plan or does it need to change or whatever it might be. So this has been a really nice one to ref kind of refresh where I'm at with everything in my life, like all the different notes I take. Um, so that's kind of those are shuffled and uh, they, they get spat out into here if I type the the uh, FK keyword there and press tab. Uh, another one would be journaling cues. So I can uh, type in up for like what's what's up or I don't know. Um, this will pop up a random uh, question like what thoughts or groups of thoughts keep coming to you? What do you do with those? So this uh, these are really kind of intuitive questions. So they can seem a little bit like um, almost what's the word like um, airheaded almost or like kind of like oh that's kind of a weird creepy question or something but really um the theory behind a lot of psychology um that i studied and specialized in like kind of uh, studying as a hobby and then that got really that brought me into coaching was that like thoughts and groups of thoughts are really important to who we are as individuals and um you know they inform like the kind of decisions we make on a daily basis like what you buy at the store that interests you for example um, so i might say like uh, video creation would be one for today for sure um, space uh, travel mars um, so like i was looking at the chinese rover that went to mars today um, so i might list some things like that and what that does for me is i can start to look at what are those symbolize right so um, i might use like a dream dictionary or another kind of reference or i might just already know like okay space space is about the unknown do i have some planning to do so uh, space is a really good metaphor for basically stuff that might happen in your life that you're, you know, you just don't know. <laughs> so maybe you're like in a new career, for example, or maybe you're in a new phase of your life. You're about to retire or you're about to start a new job or who knows what. Um, and all of a sudden, like space and UFOs are like hugely like coming to mind and you're interested in movies about that or what it might, whatever it might be. So um, I like to reflect on those consciously and be aware of them rather than let my like subconscious drive me to, to those interests. So um, I try to kind of integrate that into my journaling. It does help a lot. There are a bunch of other questions here. So I'll list some of them right now that kind of lists out. Um, so where does your mind's eye take you? Uh, and what do you see and do there? So that's kind of like active imagination. Which interests do you feel permission to engage with right now? So if some interests I feel like, oh, I'm totally blocked off. I can't even think about that one. But uh, there's others that today that come to mind as being really easy and simple. What would your opposite self be doing at this moment? Um, that's a really fun one to think about. Uh, what does the universe need or want you to feel this? Or why does the universe need or want you to feel this way right now? It's a really speculative one just for fun. Uh, let's see, finally, just some uh, random ones to, uh, to add here. Here's one that rolls all the dice I could generally need for, <laughs> for role-playing games or solo role-playing games. So that one's kind of a fun one. And then finally, I have one called WO, which is a random workout generator. So, um, there you go. It'll just spit out some workout ideas. This is a really brand new one uh, for me. So it needs a lot of customization still, but I think it's been uh, pretty fun uh, because it's a good, it's a nice long list. Um, and it will kind of, you can see some of these have uh, little differences here and there. Um, and it does throw in rest days, but not very often. Um, and some rest days plus another thing uh, that you might want to do some aerobic activity on that day. Um, this one is kind of a wide open. You can plan a custom dumbbell workout. So um, those are all some fun tools I use with Genie. Um, I really enjoy using it for productivity. Um, in addition to the standard journaling stuff, these are all little prompts I use with the snippets. And I thought I'd kind of uh, go into that in detail and um, show you guys what I use uh, in case it can be helpful for anybody else. All right, take care and uh, hope to see you in another video.